Have you ever created a character you love, only to realize it looks completely different in the next scene? Whether you are telling a story, turning a cartoon, or working on an animated film, character consistency is the key. Inconsistent features can break immersion, confuse the audience, and ruin your flow. But here is the good news. There is a simple, repeatable method to keep your characters looking the same across every pose angle and scene. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to design and maintain a consistent character from body features and outfit to hairstyles and poses using AI tools. Now, the first step to take, now, the first step to take is going to ChatGPT. So, let's go to ChatGPT. So, this is ChatGPT. If you're using ChatGPT for the first time, this is how the interface will look like. It will be blank like this, all right? If you haven't created anything with ChatGPT. All right, so in order to generate consistent character, we are not going to generate our image with ChatGPT. All right, but we are going to get our prompt. Which, uh, we are going to get our prompt from ChatGPT, okay? So the first thing we need to check is telling ChatGPT I'm going to type this. All right, so this is what I told ChatGPT. So this is what I told ChatGPT. I said I want a beautiful dark skin lady with a glowing melanin skin, wearing a fitted and red green corporate jacket, knee length gown, and sleek heels. Her hair is dark and coily. It's a exaggerated cartoon flair. Stand confidently, stylish and elegant with a soft smile. So this is the result. All right. So the next thing now to do is to touch our GPT to generate the actions, the poses, and expression. All right. Okay. So let's go ahead. All right. So I told our GPT that I will be posting the actions. Um. So okay. I gave her treasure. Treasure will be um. Will be displaying. Okay. Said I'll be posting the actions here. I need you to describe what treasure will be wearing. Don't add herself, only her actions. So let's generate. So let me generate. The first one is this. All right, so these are the things I told ChatGPT to do for me. All right, the first thing I said to generate um, treasure. What I did was I told ChatGPT to generate treasure. That is my character's name. Sitting behind her desk in her office with a laptop, a cup of tea, and an open notebook. So the next one is um, generate treasure standing in the office side view. The third one is generate treasure standing in the sitting room. Then this one, describe treasure. Generate, the next one is generate treasure in a swing. Generate treasure in, generate treasure riding a car. So. I will press it here. So as you can see, the, they are not that lengthy. So you can be able to copy it and press any site of your choice. Okay. So the next thing we have to do is to um, select this prompt. Okay. We we'll select this prompt to we'll, we'll copy it. So let's go to the top. Let's use um, Brave to sign up so after that next thing to do is to type whisk so select search select this first option this brave is a browser just like chrome browser and google browser press the option all right so we've signed in so the next thing to do is to select this let's check that let's see how the interface looks like these are these are um, amazing things that a lot of people generated. A lot of people generated. So the next thing to do is to select this enter to. Wait, and select enter to. You select continue. All right, select so continue. Get started. Then this is the place you describe your character. So all you have to do now is to write the name treasure. Treasure. Then we we'll open a bracket and paste our prompts. We paste our prompt here. 
then after that we have to close it all right so this is the option where we select our aspect ratio we are working with 16 by 9 aspect ratio we can also also select the portrait that is it depends on what you are working with so so that is it the next thing is to select send so as you can see it is generating okay okay so this is it remember before you um generate this all you have to do is to add a pizza 3d as you can see the first prompt i used i didn't add pizza 3d just do it this way i wrote the name of the character i added the pizza 3d animation then i described i described everything about her so this is the request they are making that if we want to animate it so the first thing to do now is to click on it and download all right as you can see it is a consistent character both the first and the second one is absolutely consistent character so all you have to do is to select this option and download you select this one and download okay then if you want to um animate them you can still you can still animate them here okay you can still animate them here all right, so let's go back to ChatGPT. Let's go back to ChatGPT. In ChatGPT, all we have to do is to select the second prompt. We'll copy it. All right, so after copying it, we'll go back to um, Whisk. We'll go back to Whisk. So when we go back to Whisk, we have to first write treasure, then open a bracket and press our prompt. We paste our prompt and close the prompt. All right. So the next thing is to generate here. Let's see if it will have um. We made a mistake as we we're supposed to write um. A pizza. Make sure you add the pizza three D. Make sure you add the pizza three D animation. That is, if you're working with pizza three D animation. All right. So let's. So let's write treasure, open a bracket and close the brackets, write a um, pizza 3D animation, you select send. So let's select send. What you have to do before pressing all the prompt, you have to go through it and check if there is a mistake. Her description should be the same. All right. So let's hit generate. So as you can see, this one gave um a consistent character. As you can see, this first outfit and this second one is the same. Okay. All right. So all you have to do now is to download it. Download it. Okay, let's go back to ShaGPT again. Copy the third prompt. All right, outfit on um, embroidered green, fitted gown with structured jacket, complete with a narrow fabric belt at her waist. Okay, so select this third prompt. Okay. After selecting it, we'll go back here. Okay, and... Alright, so this is it. This is the third prompt. After this, you download, just tap on it and download. It 
So let's copy the fourth prompt. All right, so. So we are generating this fourth prompt. So this is our character. She's on a string, just like I gave an instruction. So all you have to do is to download it. So this is how you get a consistent character. Even the one I generated, um, I generated a realistic character. So as you can see, the character is still the same thing. We'll see a consistent character. So let's write the last one. So this is the last from Treasure, the piece I generate. Okay, so this is our character. Then we can still um, give a prompt where she's driving. Okay. So let's check out another one. I adjusted the prompt. Uh, so I said I want her to be on steering. So can you see our, our character? She's consistent and she's on steering. Both the first image and the second one, they are still the same character. Okay. So this is how you, you get your consistent character. Whether it's a um a realistic character, whether it's a pizza character, or whatever thing it is, you get your consistent character with this whisk. And you can still animate them here. Okay. And that is it. Now you know how to build a character that looks the same in everything. No more guesswork, no more inconsistencies. Whether you are creating a short skit, an animated series, or a full story, this process will save your time and keep your visuals strong. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like, comment, or share it with other creators. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? This is Coach Mira AI, helping you bring imagination to life one frame at a time. See you in the next tutorial. Bye.